The following is a production of Learfield Sports. In a college basketball season where the home court isn't always such an advantage, well, it certainly was this past week for the Wisconsin Badgers. Last Sunday, a two-point victory against Michigan State on a Trey Jackson jumper with 2.1 seconds to play. The Badgers followed that effort with an eight-point win on Thursday night against Minnesota. We'll recap those two games. We'll sit down with head coach Bo Ryan, and we'll also hear more from Mr. Jackson on the art of the crunch time shot. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Decker high on the right, beats Koenig at the top. Koenig will draw a kick for Decker, three shot right side, splash it. That's the third triple today for Decker. 43-33 Wisconsin. I've never looked at myself as, you know, not a good shooter. It was just a little slump I was going through for a couple games and uh, I just wasn't doing my normal habits and, and I've been able to get back to that and our, our coaches were doing a good job of, you know, getting me in the gym again and, um, you know, just doing some one-on-one -on -one work and uh, getting, getting my rhythm back and confidence back. 35 to play, 15 to shoot. Jackson pounds the dribble. Shot clock is down to 10. A pass for Kaminsky. Open three, right side. Got it! Kaminsky with a cold-blooded three! 58-53 Wisconsin. Nasser gets it into Jackson with eight seconds. Along the left sideline. Trey across half court with five. Jackson against Harris. Pulls up. Pops. Got it! Jackson hits it. 2.1 to play. Wisconsin up two. Inbound pass twice. Half court. He in the air. It's off the rim. No good. And the Badgers win it. Trey Jackson strikes again. Uh, I was just thinking we need to get a shot up uh, this time. I didn't want to take it to the hole. I didn't want to get blocked. So um, pull up was there. And blessed to be able to make it go away. Ten, there's the backcourt pressure from Minnesota. Inbounds pass to Kaminsky, and he puts it on the floor. Frank to the line. Down the lane, to the rim. Slam dunk from the seven-footer. Kick out Brust, face three, got Smith up. Ben makes it, now takes it from straight away. Got Three-point hit, Ben Brust, his second from downtown. Danny got the Hayes screen at the top of feed for Hayes. Tough pass. Nigel cannot gather. Badger turnover. Ocean is his feet picked off by Hayes. Here's Nigel. Up he goes, and he throws it down. Hayes with the flush. Kaminsky out high. Picked up the dribble. Loops it to Hayes, right wing. Hayes just under the three-point line. He'll let fly the jumper and hit it again. 64-54, Wisconsin. 345 remaining. Down the lane, right hand, slam dunk, Sam Decker. Inbounds pass to Brust, across half court, he'll hoist one up, he hit it! Big Brust for three! Stamps off the three, right of the circle, and it's off the rim and in! Jackson strikes again! Out the gossip for three, he hit it again! The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Here is a story I'd like to impart, a tale of a little girl's sick, ailing heart. It begins with her doctor and favorite nurse, then on to her blankie and polka dot purse. As we are the UW, it is doubly true. We have gizmos and gadgets all shiny and new. With talents and skill and brain power galore, we fixed Kennedy's heart, so she is sick no more. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good-looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Ooh. 
Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. I know something about winning championships, and at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick, Buick, and GMC team, and you should be too. Badgers continue to get great balance. Four players scoring in double figures in each of the two victories this week, last Sunday against Michigan State, and on Thursday night against Minnesota, and a Gophers team that uh, came in with certainly guys emerging, DeAndre Matthew, uh, Maurice Walker, they, they scored 70, but, man, they had to hit some awfully tough threes to do it. Thinking you guys were doing some pretty good things defensively. Yeah, I thought we played pretty good position defense, but they did. Um, Smith hit a couple tough ones, uh, Hollins, um, and a couple tough drives at a basket where they made the ball disappear and all of a sudden it reappeared and <laughs> ended up in the basket. But I, I thought our guys uh, consistently uh, put themselves in position to make them have to make tough shots. And fortunately, they didn't make enough of them. And we went to the line. They fouled us quite a bit. They tried to extend the game and um, try to exchange maybe a three for one free throw, maybe two, and cut into the deficit. But I, I thought our guys, number one, we didn't have a turnover in the last eight and a half minutes when they were really pressuring. Uh, so I have to give my guys a lot of credit for that and, uh, and keeping their composure. Because uh, it's against Minnesota. They're, they're so athletic. I mean, they're very talented. Uh, if you let them get into you and you let them stretch a lead or get a little bit of a lead, they're, they're tough to come back on. So many things we could talk about here. You mentioned the free throw shooting. Frank Kaminsky was 9 for 9. I normally don't get too wound up about the game's first field goal, but Frank Kaminsky, the 7-footer, we're kind of going back to the old guard days, putting the ball on the floor and pretty much going rim to rim. I don't know how many 7-footers can do that, but I know of at least one now. I think he surprised everybody. I mean, it's one of those things now that that's on video, that's on synergy, that every school can say. I, I don't know if he'll get another one of those, but uh, he, he does have one. <laughs> he does. And the floor was definitely open. Ben Brust uh, with a big night shooting the ball four out of four. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess here and tell me if I'm wrong. You were never all that worried. I mean, he went through a little stretch where the, the shots weren't falling. Obviously, you want them all to fall, but a guy like Ben just going to keep, he's going to keep plugging away. And it well, how about off. one of his first two shots hitting the side of the backboard on a 15-footer? <laughs> so uh, he, he didn't look discouraged, did he? No, not too much. <laughs> so if he's open, he knows he can, he can shoot it. Um, and defensively, he's trying to get better each and every game. Uh, and, and I think, you know, when you look at stats, it's just that's the way the league is going to be. If a couple guys get hot, whether it's our team or somebody else's, it sure makes a difference in the outcome. And Ben, ben needed to be hot for us, and, uh, and, he, and he was, because we needed to, to have a spark somewhere, and he was a, he was a spark. Well, let's go back to last Sunday's game against Michigan State. It's, an, it's one that uh, I mean, fans remember a lot of the games, but that, that's one that they're going to probably be asking about over the summer when, when you're out in the... Uh, out on the circuit at various events, uh, the 60 to 58 game. That was just, uh, it's easy to say it when the team that you want to win wins, but it just was a team like a classic Big Ten, hard nosed, pretty much what you expect in the league, but especially when the Spartans and Badgers play. Yeah, like I said after the game, I was tired. Uh, that's how physical and how hard the game was played. Um, and, you know, it was, it was something that our guys needed. It definitely, because uh, being put in that position the weekend before, we didn't come out on the, on the left-hand side. So this time we did, and I, I think that really helped us for the Minnesota game. Clearly, Trey Jackson's shot gets a lot of attention, and it's understandable he has a knack for that. But and I, I don't know, Nigel Hayes is a freshman, but I guess I'm running out of material and how to, nah. how, how to praise yeah. him. But he just, he, he just plays. He, class rank to him seems irrelevant. Just, I'm a player, let's go. Yeah, he's just one of those guys that's going to try to make the most of every possession, doesn't get cheated, uh, rebounding-wise, uh, shooting-wise, defensively. Uh, he, uh, he loves to play, and he's, and he's a smart player, and he just keeps getting better. One of the funnier guys, too, maybe you've run across yeah, in a while? Yeah, he's different. 
that way. But uh, inside that head of his, that, that mind is calculating. That, that mind is trying to figure out, okay, how can I be a better player? How can I help this team? How can I help my teammates? Um, he's uh, very, very perceptive. Um, yes. Don't let that smile and that uh, congeniality fool you. He's a competitor. And uh, when, when he's on the floor, he, he understands what's at stake. And I'm guessing he is no laughing matter to opposing teams as they get their scouting report for, uh, ready to take on the Badgers. Wisconsin taking on Michigan, a noontime tip on Sunday in Ann Arbor. And then Wisconsin will play again, and it's on the road again Saturday, an 11 a.m. tip in Iowa City against the Hawkeyes. Coach Ryan rejoins us in a few minutes. All that and more as the Badger Sports Report continues. Rust on the right wing. And for Josh Gossett. Going to Decker off the left wing. To the rim. Got it. It counts and a foul. An explosive move off the wing from Sam Decker, and it's an and one. He takes baseline right, couple of jab steps. Thinking about it. He's going to pass it out to Jackson. Now to Brust. Three shots straight on. Straight in. Ben Brust is four for four from distance. They felt how uh, they've normally felt my whole career, uh, besides the last game before that. Um, definitely good to see the first one go down, and I mean, never a bad thing to uh, to make all the ones you take. It was the same type of looks, and uh, just shot it with confidence. And you know, you just got to have shooters amnesia. Um, forget the last one; next one's going. And it, it has a lot to do with you know the last time we play them. Um, you know, we were kind of us, us bigs were kind of weak. And on defense and a little bit on offense, and you know, we just wanted to come out with energy, and I think we did that. Uh, Frank and I, we um, we didn't take too kindly to uh, what happened when we played in Minnesota. They came in and established a, a great post presence. Um, Walker came in and gave them 12 first half points, which you know, gave them the energy and sparked them to uh, go on the run that they would go on in the rest of the half and then the rest of the game. And uh, we wanted to make sure this game that they didn't establish that presence. We got stops when we needed to at certain times that were uh, that were good in, in parts of the game. And, um, you know, we didn't give them too many second chance points. Um, you know, points in the paint were only 18. We gave are given up, you know, 40 at times. So it's good to keep that number lower. Um, you know, personally, there's still a lot of things I can get better at defensively, and uh, along with this team. So we're going to keep working at it in practice and keep trying to get better. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Truth is, there are surgical procedures and medical treatments that only a handful of doctors can perform. Illness is so complex that only the preeminent hospitals in the world will take them on. These are those doctors, and this is their hospital. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals inside UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health, remarkable. The Buzzer Beaters, the high school tournaments, the conference titles, truly the court of champions. Parker Street Productions LLC has acquired pieces of the basketball court used at the Kohl Center from 1998 until 2008, now making them available to you. 61 teams walked off this court with a trophy. Now you can take home your own trophy, a piece of history. Log on to courtofchampions.com today. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. 
NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Inbound pass Jackson, left side, now across the mid-stripe with two, with one, three in the air, it's good! Trayvon Jackson at the buzzer shoots Wisconsin to victory in the regular season finale. So now this is it, 5.4 seconds left, 52 to 50 Michigan, inbounds pass to Taylor, high on the left, Jordan. Trying to split through a double team. Gets it out to Gosser for three in the wind. Right of the circle. He hit it. Going glass. Josh Gosser shoots Wisconsin to victory in Ann Arbor as he banks one home from right of the circle. Gosser gets it into Jackson with eight seconds. Along the left sideline. Trey across half court with five. Jackson against Harris. Pulls up. Pops. Got it. Jackson hits it. 2.1 to play. Wisconsin up two. Inbound pass twice. Half court. He... In the air, it's off the rim, no good. And the Badgers win it. Trey Jackson strikes again. Is there anything in sports like a buzzer beater? Uh, that, not really. You know, honestly, that's that's from when you're, you know, five years old picking up a ball. Uh, that's the stuff you you play in your backyard, you do in your backyard, you dream about making a buzzer beater in a big game. Uh, so, you know, when you're working in the offseason, when you're working on your game and practice all season long, all offseason, those are the plays that you're working towards. So that's why um, buzzer beaters are such a big thing in, in today's game. You're down one or two and you have a chance to win it. And if you hit that shot, you know, place goes crazy, your team goes crazy, you know, you win the game, which is ultimately the coolest part of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just everything that led up to that point comes to fruition there. And, and if, you're the, if you have the chance to do it and you do it, that's a really special moment. Even going back just to last year, you guys have won or tied a number of games mm -hmm. on those kind of buzzer beater shots. What does that do for a team's psyche, not just in the game but going forward? Um, it's, it's, it's big because you know uh, who can hit those shots and who wants to step up and do it. And, um, you know, Trey's done that a bunch of times here, and Ben obviously hit one big one last year. And, uh, you know, when you have guys like that that aren't afraid to step up and hit the shot, uh, gives your team a lot of confidence in who to go to in those situations. And um, it just gives you, gives you, you know, uh, the feeling that you have a chance to win, you know, no matter what, and uh, we've been able to do that lately. How is it decided who's going to take the shot? Um, you know, sometimes it's just uh, if you get a rebound, you kind of just push it and go. Uh, but if there's a timeout, you know, uh, or a play against Michigan State where, you know, we want to get the ball in our point guard's hands, and, and Trey's done a great job in his career of, of making those big plays down the stretch. So there's pretty much no doubt in our mind who is going to be the guy who's going to be making the play at the end and he just happened to make another one. Uh, usually we put you know, five pretty good shooters on the court at one time, so I think anyone wants to take it, anyone can take it, but you know, whoever's open is going to take it and hit it. And um, you know, Lately we've had some opportunities with Trey in the past few years. Um, he's so good at getting to his spot and getting open shots that he's been able to do that. Just trying to go out there and just you know, have some fun, play to, play to win the game, and uh, if I happen to be in a position to take the last shot, then I'll take it. But, I'm sure my other teammates to be in the same position, they'll take the same shot and be just as confident as, as the hitter as they were. So I really don't know. Well, I mean, it's always good to have it in the, in the background, but, um, you know, that's in the past still now. So you kind of just got to move on, um, stay humble about the situation. Because, you know, you're only as good, you know, as your last game, I like to say. So, so when we play that next game, which will be on Sunday, uh, we're going to be as good as we'll be on that day. So the other stuff in the past doesn't matter. You have to continue to just re-keep doing it. So. How much time do you guys spend working on those kind of scenarios in practice? Yeah, we do it a lot. You know, we, we work on, you know, if it's a full court uh, length of the play with five seconds left, if it's a half court set. So we do it pretty much every week, preparing for every game. And, and Coach puts the ball in our hands and lets us, lets us make plays in practice and, and see what he's got. And uh, we kind of get a feel for what we're going to do in those situations. And, that stuff just transfers over to the game, so that's why I think you've seen the success we've had. We do spend a fair amount of time on it at the end of practice. Um, you know, periodically, every every week, every two weeks, we'll do things. You know, 10 seconds tie game, eight seconds down one, four seconds tie game, those type of things. So different scenarios, all the different things that can come into the decision and, and what type of shot you have to take. Um, we factor into that as we do different um, scenarios. You know, and then we also practice the actual the pass down the floor. Um, you know, the pass that Mike Bruiser would 
hit Ben with last year from the Michigan game. It's been practiced several times. So the timing and the execution, you can draw it up great, but it's still about the execution and the timing of it. And obviously in that situation, it was executed as good as you could. Your last second shot in the state tournament in high school, how much do you still remember that? I, I remember it pretty vividly. Uh, me and Josh and Nigel were actually watching it. We were watching some high school fo footage and stuff when we watched the shot. And um, you know, it's a, it's a cool feeling. It's something that's um, you know something that you can't really compare to. And um, you know, I love shooting those shots. I love hitting them. And um, it's something that is, you'll really never forget. Back to your freshman year, you hit a buzzer beater against Michigan. How much do you still remember that play? Um, you know, a little bit, and not much. I think uh, when my career is over and I'm looking back at. Uh, what I've all accomplished, that's one play I'll definitely look back at and be proud of, but uh, there's just been so many games and so many plays that uh, we've been a part of as a team that uh, overshadows that. So, But you know, when my career's over, I'll definitely look back at that and be really really proud of that moment. You know, you got to want the ball in those situations, and, you, and when you get it, you got to feel confident that it's going in. Uh, and if your teammate's shooting, you kind of got to feel the opposite. You know, you got to think that they're going to miss it, and you got to go in there and make a play and get a rebound. So. Um, you know, just kind of doing that whatever it takes mentality to, to win the game there and uh, just, you know, like I said, just do whatever it takes. You have to get a shot off so you can kind of get to go deep into your arsenal and, um, you know, those, those where you just kind of, you know, you, you got to be, you know, gutsy in terms of, you know, just having the confidence and knowing that your shots are going to go in. And, um, that's just that's just a part of the game. Something that we pride ourselves on. You know, it's a 40 minute game is a lo is a long game. There's a lot of possessions in a game, but when it comes down to that one possession, whoever wins on that one play, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, whoever can um, have the confidence, have the toughness to get through that last possession. Uh, that's what separates teams who are you know uh, Big Ten champions and who are you know looking looking at, looking at the outside in. I know something about winning championships. And at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick Buick and GMC team, and you should be too. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. One day, cancer as we know it will cease to exist. But until then, there will be no rest, for they are the ones who push science, who seek more effective protocols and preventions, the ones who treat the most complex of cancers in search of cures. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only nationally designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. As a strength and conditioning coach to some of Wisconsin's top athletes, people always ask me, what's the secret to top performance? I always tell them that what happens after your workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk, and you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time now for the Great Dane Great Question of the Week, and we go to Heartland where Henry is checking in. He likes his fundamental basketball. He's noticed how well the Badgers are with the art of the shot fake, and uh, Bo Henry wants to know, in general, 
Do young players really understand the value of the shot fake, or is it something that constantly needs to be drilled? There's not a day that goes by in practice that we're not talking about that. Not just a shot fake, but a pass fake also. Uh, to try to get people to bite, try to make people uh, get on their heels a little bit defensively. Uh, but a lot of times, defenders are always uh, going to cue in on your first move. So if you ball fake or shot fake, you tend to get people uh, a little bit out of position and your next move becomes a little easier. And of course, the moves aren't ever easy, especially in our conference. But uh, we're still working on our guys to use more shot fakes around the basket when they draw help. Um, and you've been to some of our practices. You hear how often we say, pump fake. Uh, so, yes, we do practice them every day, Henry, and uh, uh, I, I know our team does a lot of them, and I think it's good. It's good for the game. It's good for what we're trying to do, and it gets us pretty good results. Absolutely. Yep, the shot fake, the ball fake, the mid-range game, a lot of fundamentally sound things. If you want to know how to do it, watch the Badgers play. Henry, we thank you for your question. A great game with four locations in Madison, east side of town, downtown. Fitchburg as well as Hilldale. Of course, he'll be able to cite for Coach Ryan's radio show on Mondays throughout the season. And the great game up in Wausau as well. Next time you're in Wausau, check it out. That'll do it for us this week. Join us next week as we continue to follow the Badgers as we get close now to the stretch drive of the Big Ten regular season. Thanks for watching. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.